Grinders and grindettes, what's happening? This your boy, the Black Abstract. You're locked in once again. I appreciate y'all, motherfuckers. So, what we about to get into today is Joe Biden proposing a ban on menthol cigarettes as well as Swisher blunt wraps or blunt wraps in general. Uh, it seems like Mr. Biden is trying to uh, get rid of the black community as quick as he got them. <laughs> it's one thing about black folk, they love some menthol cigarettes. You know these young boys out here love their little blunt raps. So uh, let's get into what it says at the what the New York Times. I'm sorry. Uh, it says the Biden administration plans to propose banning menthol cigarettes. Uh, the move has long been sought by public health and civil rights groups after decades of marketing aimed at black smokers. Um, yeah, you know I rarely if ever have seen black folks smoking Marlboro, Camel. Or anything of the sort. But I will say I have seen plenty of black folks smoking Newport, Menthol 100s, Tall, Short, Box, Soft Pack, etc., etc. Uh, okay, <laughs> let me continue reading. It says the Biden administration is planning to propose a ban on menthol cigarettes, a long sought public health goal of civil rights and anti tobacco groups that has been beaten backed by tobacco industries for years according to federal health official for decades menthol cigarettes have been marketed aggressively to black people in the united states about 85 percent of black smokers use menthol brands including newborn and cool according to the food and drug administration research research shows menthol cigarettes are easy to become addicted to and harder to quit than plain tobacco cigarettes or to plain tobacco products the FDA is being forced to act by a court deadline. A federal district judge in Northern California had ordered the agency to respond by April 29th to a citizen's petition to ban menthol. Uh, but the odds are unlikely that a ban will take effect anytime soon. Hell no, they, they make way too much money. You, you don't understand. You know how many, you know the lawyers they got just for situations like this? They All they're going to do is keep delaying, 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 delaying. Delay it for 20 years. They'll be still making money, getting rich. And uh, the cycle will continue. Um, it says the ban would not, however, apply to e-cigarettes, which are being considered as a means to help smokers off regular menthol cigarettes quit. Most e-cigarette brands, including Juul, are undergoing an FDA review that will determine whether they are sufficiently beneficial to public health to be allowed to stay on the market. Um... Pfft. Del Monte Jefferson, executive director of the Center for Black Health and Equity, one of the organizations behind a petition called The Decision and Victory for African Americans and All People of Color. This has been a long time coming. Uh, listen, how about we just ban cigarettes altogether? How about uh, cigarettes have done nothing but harm people uh, since the creation of cigarettes how about we just ban cigarettes all together why are we trying to uh just ban a particular brand of cigarettes listen if people stop smoking menthols if you ban menthol cigarettes all they're going to do is go smoke regular cigarettes they're going to uh, smoke tobacco just regular tobacco cigarettes or you're going to get somebody like me back in my day i'm reformed now who's going to figure out how to bootleg menthol cigarettes and be selling them on the street because, you know, that's what that's what they do. That's what you can do out here. People get real creative. Yeah. Uh, I don't see anything in here about blunt wraps. Um, but it says, while black smokers smoke less, while black smokers smoke less, they die of heart attacks, strokes, and other causes linked to tobacco use at higher rates than white smokers do, according to federal health uh, statistics. Um... Matthew L. Myers, president of Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, which has been part of the citizens' petition, also noted that menthol and other flavors appeal widely to teenagers. Widely to teenagers. Wow. Menthol cigarettes are the number one cause of youth smoking in the United States. He said eliminating menthol cigarettes and flavor cigarettes, cigarettes used by so many kids will do more in the long run to reduce tobacco-related disease than any action the federal government has ever taken. Uh, I didn't, see, yeah, I don't see anything in here about blunt wraps or anything. Um, so I'm trying to see 
No, nope, I don't see anything about that. So, uh, young boys, y'all good. All my smokers, y'all good out there. Um, but listen, like I said, if 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 you take the mental away, all they're gonna do is go smoke regular cigarettes, or like I said, they're gonna find some way to do it. How about proposing a ban to ban all cigarettes in general? Uh, people getting cancer, people getting all kinds of stuff uh, from smoking tobacco. Um, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. I, but then again, I never been a cigarette smoker, so I can't see the appeal in it. You know what I mean? I used to chew at one point in time, and I know you get a little hair rush, so maybe it's the same thing with six. But um, I, I mean, I guess it's a step in the right direction. You know, maybe it'll start with banning menthols, and then eventually they'll get the ban for cigarettes as a whole, or uh, at least try to get the ball rolling on that. I don't know. Uh. Seems like another pacifier for the black community. Uh, I think we got bigger issues. Than, I mean, hey, listen, I'm all about life and uh, preservation of life. So, hey, I, I'm not mad at it. Uh, but like I said, let's just try to get rid of cigarettes in general. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let me know what you guys think. Post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and the notification bell. What do you think? Should they ban menthol? Should they not? Are you a cigarette smoker? Are you not? Let me know. Peace.